welcome to another amazing episode of Conversations with the Fair Talks. You know that I'm always excited and pumped about any 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 of my shows. If I'm going to enter, I'm ready. Once you say it, if I come and talk, I'm always ready, excited, you know, happy about it. Just give me the mic and we move, we keep going. All right, so as usual, I'll say thank you. Welcome to everyone who's just joining, who's just coming to my page, or maybe someone recommended it to you, someone shared and you saw it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. I'm excited. Today, we're going to be talking about something very, very interesting. Pride. This thing that they call pride. That's what we're discussing. And you know, funny story is that before now usually when people meet me right they always say this affair is very proud this affair is very proud like i hear that a lot you know before <laughs> before we start to just i don't know maybe it's where to look or do i to dress i might tell them that it's because you are jealous of me because what's that because after i always start talking and i start saying that um yeah if you are you're actually so friendly you're actually so this yeah this. and i'm like oh really so but you just saw me and you judged me you didn't even give me any opportunity you didn't even allow us to converse like you talk to me and i snubbed you you just see me you just says me of oh, this guy is proud why because i'm fine because i dress well because i'm hot what what anyway we'll talk about, why do they judge people we'll talk about these judge judges later right but today we're just going to talk about pride and Proud people always think that they are better than everybody else. So you can be proud for various reasons. Maybe you think that you are the finest person on block, you are the most intelligent, so you are very proud, you are very successful, you are from a very wealthy background, you are very rich. You know, different things can just make you proud. You dress very well, you have an amazing shape, body, physique. Different things get into people's heads and they make them very proud, right? And proud people think that Boya it's not jesus that created all of us there is only them that god created right and i don't know how they think but there has to be something that makes people feel like because i have this i'm better than everybody because i'm rich i'm dead and i can't talk to people that don't have money i can't talk to people that are not fine like me i can't talk to people that don't dress well oh if you're not tall we cannot relate if you're not this you don't work in a multinational in if you're not a high net worth individual we cannot connect you know all those kind of things even spiritual people if you don't speak in tongues if you are not prayerful we cannot connect i can only talk to people that that are that are, that are praying that see jesus that dine and wine with the father you know that just proud for whatever reason and i want to ask you a question you that you are listening to me and you have this trait of pride in you what really is the issue gongo -gong? like what do you put think what what comes to people's minds that those of us that just love people and are just very amazing and we are at this moment we don't have sense because I wonder where this thing even comes from. What what is pride? It's a very evil seed. And people start it. You don't even know what it can do. Pride shuts doors. It shuts opportunities. And we people is this, this is very common saying that your skills, your gifts can get you so far, right? Your behavior, your character, humility, regard, respect is what will keep you at the top. So if you are that person who thinks that you are so intelligent, you are so smart, and you can, and they are getting some promotions, it will get to a particular level, right? You can't go higher than that because they don't need proud people. As intelligent, as skilled as you are, they need people that are well-behaved, that have manners, that have regard, that are humble, that are kind, that know how to relate with people. Those are people that you need at the top. So pride can get you so far, but it cannot keep you there. And that's why they say that pride cometh before it fall. There is no way, no way. Proud people cannot last. It's not possible. So what is this thing called pride? Why are we proud? What do we have that wasn't even given to us by God? Right? If you think about it, you realize that pride, pride is very, it has a very terrible smell. You cannot relate. So you start sometimes you start seeing how they sound. They are very proud. You will immediately move away. You want to focus on people that that have human feelings in them you cannot be a proud person i want you to know that it's better for you to be humble and gradually make your way to the top than for you to be proud and then you come crashing down let me give you a very quick example about someone that i knew when i was younger i had this friend right um my dad had a very big house more like a mansion when we were growing up right um and they used to live in a one room apartment one bedroom and there were like five children or six children and then their parents just one room parlor so you can imagine how tight it was 
right? And we we're very good friends. We we're still friends till today. People said, okay, how can you be just this kind of person? How can you be this kind of person? How can you be that for me? What's my own? Everybody's my friend. As long as you have respect, as long as you are, you are amazing, you have a good character, me, I'm your friend. I don't care about the money because money will come. Right, and that's how we maintain our relationship so far. Today she's an interior decorator, right? Now you know how much it is to get even to book appointments with interior decorators. You have to pay like we are hundred k, two hundred k, depending on the level. Now we're going to move to our new home, right, and all that. She was the one that did all the running around for us curtains chairs you know the painting the works the whole everything i should not collect one naira if i was there saying that i cannot talk to someone that lives in a one bedroom apartment do you know what she was going to become today that's why you because you don't know what you will meet people you don't know how opportunities can slip off your hands people lose jobs because of pride people lose relationships friendships even marriages because of pride right and she did everything for me at no cost because of relationship, because of love, because of humility, right? So I just want to leave this with you today. If you think that there's any sort of pride in you, remove it. Ask friends, tell me what you think of my character, what you think about me, what you can to improve about. Get feedback, it's so good. Pride is ghosting. Throw it out. And I believe that I don't have proud followers. No, I mean, if we boast, we boast the Lord. Yes, amen. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening i hope that you have learned something i hope that something has stuck with you and i want to believe that we all work on ourselves to remove every set of pride and replace it with a godly and a beautiful spirit i'll see you again next time do not forget remember like share comment tell someone tell someone and i'll see you next week bye for now